Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Uh, today I want to talk about something different than the domestic violence um, between a couple. I want to talk about how to determine if you truly have a good friend in your life. Uh, before I get started, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, and I am still going to do my disclaimers because my channel is geared to the domestic violence. So if you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE, 800-799-7233. And for mental health resources, you can reach out to NAMI at 800-950-NAMI, 800-950-6264. You can also text NAMI at 741741. With that being said, again, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. So I was just thinking, you know, after being in a domestic uh, abusive relationship, sometimes you, um, well, you are fragile. And sometimes you go toward the wrong people who may seem to be a friend, but in reality, they are fake friends. And so I just wrote down a few things that... Um, you want to look out for when you have a person that seems to be a friend to you. You know, most of us have friends that we have known for 20 plus years uh, because we went to the school with this person or we met them in college or we went to the same church or whatever the case may be, we live next to them. And so we've remained friends because of the um, connection that we have with these people. Um, but in having friends that you have had for 20 years you still want to look and see are these healthy friends are these the type of people you should continue to have in your life and if so then that's good but if not what's the use of having somebody that's bringing you down that's a negative cloud um and that is not helping you grow and same and vice versa for you if you're in somebody's life and um, all you can seem to do is talk about the negative. There's nothing positive that you can have a conversation with this person. You don't have goals, whatever the case may be. Um, then I would suggest, you know, healing yourself before you try to have a relationship. It's been very important uh, for you to have people in your life that are healthy, uh, especially after being in an abusive relationship. But even so, if you've never been in an abusive relationship, it's still important to have healthy people around you. You shouldn't have somebody that's uh, pulling on your energy and not replenishing the energy that they take from you. So a few things that I wrote down and things that you should um, look at and, you know, evaluate the friendship that you have. Uh, if you have a person in your life that's uh, respecting you and you you can also respect them that's good but if you have someone that's in your life that um it's all about them um they have to be the star of the show uh the spotlight uh and they always seem to be really outgoing and uh sometimes you feel like you're just being drug along just to make them look good those are people you want to watch out for because those are not really true friends and then also, if you have somebody in your life that um, you can talk to, you know, you can tell them things that you wouldn't normally tell your sister or your brother or even your mother, but you can talk to this person and you feel comfortable sharing things and they can talk to you. And this is sacred between the two of you. You don't go back and tell a mutual person that you may know. Um, you don't talk about this person. Um and you don't make them feel bad for sharing. So, you know, those are good people to have in your life. But if you got this person that um, when you tell them something, um, they look at you and they make you feel a certain way. Um, they talk down to you. They talk about what you've told them to other friends. Uh, they discount your feelings and they just say, you know, you're being too sensitive or, or get over it. These are people who don't really have your best interest. And even though you may have known them for 20 plus years, you want to sit back and uh, 
look at the relationship see if there's an even give and take see if there's a balance if there's no balance in the relationship uh, what's the purpose of hanging on to a toxic relationship keep in mind you've already been in a relationship where you were uh, abused mentally or physically so now you don't want to be in a relationship with a friend that's uh, putting you down or making you feel a certain way uh, and also giving you false hope you know they'll be encouraging in your face but as soon as you turn your back the knives are there sticking in your back as many as they can put in and then you also don't want this friend that um, talks to you in a certain way that makes you feel stupid you know you have this person that just can articulate pretty well and say some things and at the end of the statement you come out feeling stupid you know you don't want a friend like that those people a friend I'm not saying that you're never going to have a disagreement because in every healthy relationship you disagree but um, friends don't purposely try to make you feel or look stupid you know so you have to be leery of the one that's always saying something that's slick or sly and uh, when you think about what's been said you feel like um, you're the stupid one or you're the idiot so those are the type of people who are not trying to be a friend and I don't care if this person has been in your life and I've said it before uh, 20 years plus if this is a pattern and you feel a certain way after you get off the phone or after you spend time with this person then you may want to rethink your relationship um, I can't tell you just to drop the person but for me I have had a few friends to where I just had to walk away from um, it was clear it was obvious and I think I mentioned it in one of my stories that I well, I'm sorry one of my um, videos that I've mentioned that this friend always wanted me to help her do something um, and I was always there for her because I value my friendship and I try my best to be the best friend I'm not saying that I, I'm perfect but I'm the type of friend that if you need me I'm there night or day and I noticed with this person she has never been there for me even um, I can just share one time um, my daughter threw me a birthday party at her house and it wasn't a big thing I'm not into a lot of people coming around I, you know I like simple things elegant simple so I should say it was a birthday dinner so of course I invited her uh, she came and um, you know my daughter hosted the party and my son did some of the cooking so it was really nice you know I enjoyed myself so she came and we were um, all sitting around now it's the time to give out the gifts and so I got some pretty nice gifts gifts from everybody so she gives me a gift um, and it was in a, a gift bag it was a scarf and when I open up the scarf, um, you know, you first look at it, it looks nice. It didn't smell like it was used or whatever. So um, later that night after everybody had went home and I'm now at home putting away my gifts, I um, look at the scarf and I see that it has a cigarette burnt on it, you know, and I just thought that was so tacky. You know, um, somebody gives you a gift, even if you're going to make the gift used or whatever the case may be uh, it shouldn't have had any damage to it so I didn't say anything to her about it and I just noticed that uh, every gift that I gave her every birthday that she had I took the time to ask her daughter you know what does she want this year or what she's been looking for and I tried my best to get it but that was the f uh, first gift that I've gotten from her and the only gift that I ever gotten from her and over a period of 20 years of friendship so um, I never really looked at it until that night I noticed that was the first gift and it was a used gift so you know some things when you're in a relationship with a person you overlook because this person is your friend I wasn't desperate in need of having her in my life um, I was just being a friend you know when she came to me um, she was going through some things and we kind of connected and from that point on we became I thought best of friends but every 
instance, I can point out where I was always on the end of giving and never receiving time, uh, energy, money, whatever the case may be. I was always the, on the end of giving. So, um, I had to let the friendship go. I didn't see wasting another 20 years with this person because, um, nothing had changed on that person's end so it wasn't right for me to continue to go along with a friend like this and i'm saying this to say uh, if you have people in your life who is all about them and you can't seem to have anything to help you in the relationship you still feel lonely in the relationship then i would suggest that you walk away you don't have to be mean about it um you don't have to uh you know go go that route you don't have to um do anything that's going to hurt them just simply end the friendship you can end it by saying that you've noticed some things that's going on in in the friendship and at this point it would be best that you uh be by yourself and you just can't spend time with this person or you can just do the silent treatment you cannot be available for this person as much and you can just, uh, you know, if every, most people have uh, phones, cell phones, so you can block that person, you know. Um, I don't know too many people with home phones, but if you do and this person is so much, uh, is, is always calling you on the home phone, if you want, change the number. Whatever helps you, whatever makes you feel safe, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Um, but I would suggest not... Uh, spending your time and energy with a person who could care less about you as a friend. You deserve more. Um, and if you let go of this person that's not a friend, uh, the right people will come into your life and you will have decent friends. People where um, you don't have to feel lonely, where there's positive. I mean, even if you're having a bad day or this person is having a bad day, you can talk about it, but then find something positive to uplift uh, you all. So um, I know for a fact, letting go of the toxic people in my life, um, they are being replaced slowly with people who are very uh, positive and healthy. And I'm so thankful for that. Um, I'm not holding on to something that's not serving me a greater purpose. And I would suggest that you do the same, you know, um, Abuse is not only from just couples, it can come from friends and family. And I'm going to talk about uh, the family abuse um, tomorrow. So if you know someone that's in your life that's not a good friend and you know and everybody around you knows this person is not good for you, let them go because you're only doing damage to yourself. You're in a relationship that there's no give and take. And um, the history that you have, it's all been built on uh, a rocky um, foundation. There's nothing stable about it. This person can leave you and drop you at the drop of a hat. So think about that and put yourself first. I'll see you again tomorrow. I hope this is helping someone. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And thank you for watching.